Yes. So some, some of, not certainly for 500 rupees an acre, but the point is, over a period of eight, nine years when you buy land, at the time when the people had no faith in the project, it goes on increasing. But the fact is that that is it. It's on a negotiated basis. So this whole idea of the land being acquired does not exist in this project. And in, in that sense, you, you then refute Medha Patka's allegations so far that the villagers are anti the Lavatsa project. No, <laughs> what is there to refute? The group Gram Panchayat of 18 villages in the Lavasa area have passed a unanimous resolution supporting the project, have intervened in the court case, have also intervened in the hearing of the MOEF. So, uh, what is the allegation that she's making? Mm -hmm. And this documentation is there for you to support? Yeah, it is there. Even as it's you filed in that, court. Yes. what is it that Lavatsa feels it's done for the villagers around in this region? You know, this place was sad when it came here. A lot of place was denuded. This place was sad because we are not, dis not discussing environment. Now we are discussing what the live lifestyle livelihood was here. It was so bad that they had no access to any kind of medical aid. They had no access to anything. They even had to bury their dead during the monsoon, exhume them after the monsoon was over to cremate them. They used to do slash and burn farming as well as burn forests for the Animals would run down and then they would kill and eat. That was the lifestyle that existed here. By the Lavasa project coming here, these villagers have schools, these villagers have been able to have access to water, electricity, which we were able to give them. Not only that, we have created a wonderful school here for ultimately a thousand children mm. called Crystal House. This is a privileged school yeah, for the privileged... So, so when the environment ministry officials come down, you, you're going to actually build some of your argument based on this? No, wait a minute. I think you're confusing the issue, Shailip. Let us understand there are issues of environment. Yeah. And the multiple PILs. The multiple PILs are a separate issue. But they refer to, to the beneficial you're, 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 benefits you're putting, of the villagers or people around One moment. Region. You're confusing the two issues because one is... Environment Ministry is concerned with the environment issues. Right. The rest are other issues which PILs might have been filed and have very little to do with the environmental aspects. Medha Parker is no environmentalist. Right. Okay? So the issue is environment separate, the rest of the issue is separate. Right. There's a PIL and we will deal with the PIL as the, when, when, we, when we have to deal with it, when, sure. the, when the state committee right. creates its report. But the rest, when I'm staying with what you asked me about what we have done for the villagers. Let me tell you, this is a very special school. The Crystal House that had its first class graduate from in Bangalore, mm -hmm. three of them went to Stanford on full scholarship. Mm -hmm. So we're creating opportunity for the villagers' children here, not just to go have a little better life, but to go to... Oxford and to Stanford and to MITs of the world. Right. Okay, so, so we are now talking about these two issues. I know they're separate issues. Yeah, but right. from your investor standpoint, sometimes they do look like too much of a, too much of a larger issue associated with what has been the potential Lavatsa story. I think, right? I think we have kept our investors completely informed. Everything that happens in Lavatsa has been on the website. We, we, we've followed a policy of complete transparency, good and bad is posted, mm. everybody is completely kept informed and we are not seeing this confusion in the investors' okay. mind. But when you look at the fact that currently this case is sitting in the High Court, yes. do you think that after the 10th of January, if, if the Ministry of Environment doesn't go, well, find either a solution or the decisions that are circling around your environmental violations, the alleged violations, then you would approach the Supreme Court? See, listen, I don't want to, we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. First of all, as far as we are concerned, I still believe the Ministry of Environment has so far been misled by these Medha Patkar's Northern, uh, National Alliance. And once they come here, they will start seeing the merit of what, what we are saying. Second is, if at all the investors in the, are worried, they're worried about where is India going? Are they going to renege on promises made earlier? Are they going to rake up what happened five years ago? And are they going to stop projects mm. suddenly in the middle of things? And I think that is a bigger concern of clarity the foreign policy. investor. Not only clarity, 
If it is a future project you're not clearing, they say, all right, this is not done in India, it doesn't matter. Do you think the government has had an agenda against large projects? I mean, Ambi Valley also happens to, uh, you know, face some issues now, uh, certainly after the Lavasa issue was brought to the fore. Do you think that there is an issue about big projects and they're being uh, sidelined in some way? I'm sorry, I, I don't know what is happening, but I would like to see a very clear environmental policy which lays down objective and standard measurable uh, standards for environment. Mm. We have worked with LEEDS in the building the green association with, with, with India in order to create standards for towns and townships. You have green standards for buildings but you don't have them for townships. We have with us Janine Benius, the founder of Maya Bimikri Guild, who takes the idea of ecology and restoring sustainable development to another level. They have made incredible wealth for millions of investors, and they are now on ET Now. I'll show you how to catch large profitable trends in the Nifty, Bank Nifty, and CNXIT. Gain from my expertise on charts and make the most profitable trades. Take home money every day. Look beyond the short term. Catch the trends that deliver supernormal profits at minimal risk. Create wealth with India's top technical analysts. We'll be on ET Now. If you want to make sure that you have a sustained, ongoing growth in this country, you have to tackle the twin deficits and you have to open up your markets. We're not buying that many companies. What we're doing here is really providing growth capital. I'd be disappointed if we don't put a lot more money into your country because it's here. There's opportunity here. Queries by calling us on 0224837117. Or you can email us at bnsn at the rate of etnow.tv. Or you can also SMS BNSN followed by your name and your query and send it to 5AAW. Weekdays 11 to 12 only on ET. When you decided on this project, yeah, yeah. you must have made the Maharashtra government, which was very much yeah, in sure, support yeah, of this, yeah. abreast of these issues. Oh, sure we have. And if they are supporting you, uh, in, in what ways are they able to highlight some of these, uh, you know, some of these benefits that you're talking about? We are talking of a large investment in this state. It's going to be a, over the next 10, 15 years, the total investment of different universities, software firms, hospitality that will come to this place is about 40,000 crores. Is yeah. this becoming too much of a Lavasa versus Medha Patkar story? I'm sorry, not at all. I don't want to raise her to the level of that kind of stuff. Okay, but you know, you, you said this now, this project started in 2000? When, when yeah, was yeah, it? Around, yeah, around, around 2000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we obviously have gone through different governments yes, since yes, then. Yes, yes. To what extent would you attribute this flip-flop in what's going on in terms of policy uh, and the various alleged uh, because allegations? I think there is. We need to lay down really rules of business with the Environment Ministry. What exactly is our definition of what we're seeking about environment? What do you think is driving the Environment Ministry at this time, at this juncture, well, to talk about these problems? Well, I'll say, let's, let's put it this way, as far as I see it. I think the Environment Ministry wants to bring seriousness about environment to this country and that we must have certain concerns of environment as we build development. Now, in doing so, we need to create a full concept of what constitutes environmental issues, what are the objective standards which are measurable that we should create. It's a big story. It, it's a tedious task of creating them, working with industry, working with activists, working with... But someone can argue, well, this is 
the time is now and that yes, is, sure, they but, are happening. But, but you, are they happening? Can we tell us, let us have a clear idea as to what are the standards that we have? Can we create them? What is the future of the Lavasa IPO? Well, let, let's close this chapter. I'm sure the MOEF will one day see that, that we are doing work for the environment. Have you spoken to Mr. Jairam Ramesh since the time of the order? No, I haven't. Is it because you don't have the opportunity or is it because I, you have I, to build I don't have the opportunity. Part? You don't have the opportunity. opportunity. So let's say you get an opportunity tomorrow. What yeah. is it that you're going to tell? I'd say exactly what I told you. Let's work on it. We are on your side. We want the environmental standards to come. We've done a hell of a lot of work in the area. And we would like to be partners to create this. If the solution is a penalty, what would it be like for you? I will cross the bridge when it comes to what is the but solution. But you would be open to an idea where it's a, a, a solution or a middle path in, is a penalty. If because from, from their point of view, these are allegations. And if these are allegations that you may refute because you're the effective, affected party, that doesn't mean various other parties involved will also agree to that. Well, I'm not saying that, I'm not asking all the parties to agree to it for the sake of agreeing. Right. I'm asking other parties to agree to it because we have done some very good work here. And uh, as long as it does not reflect that we have done something terrible, any kind of compromise is possible. So, if, and in that sense, uh, going to Supreme Court is not your preferred route? I never said that. It could be. I said to you, we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. You must be, though, prepared for it, isn't it? Because, there, I mean, these are situations that have been rather unpredictable. To and be very surprises. honest, for such a show cause notice, nobody in the world can be prepared. Another aspect, talking of approvals to that effect, some of the recent approvals that you've sought from the Environment Ministry have come through yeah, various yeah, other yeah, aspects. Yeah. Does that give you a sense of hope that this project, uh, through the current As few said, orders, has tried to suggest that, you know, this project should be held up, it doesn't matter where it goes from here, so on. That's been the tone, right? There's been talk about how this has been a very, what, what I would say, straightforward and to an extent extremely yeah. scathing tone of the order. Do you have hope that since various other projects have been given the go-ahead, the Environment Ministry probably doesn't mean it that harshly? Listen, you need to be an eternal optimist to do a project like this. Which you are. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Okay, on that note, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank thanks, you. thanks. Buy, sell or hold from the biggest market experts and hot stock tips that will increase your portfolio valuation. You can join us live with your investment queries by calling us on 022-248-37117 or you can email us at bnsn at the rate of etnow.tv or you can also SMS BNSN followed by your name and your query and send it to 5WW. Weekdays 11 to 12 only on ET. Brought to you by Valley Gear Broking, India's leading broking network. LG Optimus One Smartphone. Access to the world of interesting apps. Access Bank. There's always a solution. Are your finances out of shape? Or are you looking to expand your investments? Identify mutual funds that maximize your money. Shipping your portfolio is now just a call away. Discover the power of compounding in a whole new way. It's time to demystify the investing jargon. If you're spending, saving or investing, then it's time to call Investor's Guide, your personal finance helpline. Brought to you by Valley Gear Broking, India's leading broking network. SMC, money wise, be wise. Have you come smart class? One day all schools will teach this way. Corporate India is opening new doors of opportunity. Business dynamics are constantly evolving. Business First is your window to trends that evolve in India Inc. With the biggest business stories from the sharpest reporting team. Inside access to corporate dealings on priority for your business. With Business First. Every weeknight at 8, only on ET Now. 
Brought to you by Valley Gear Commercial Loans. In your success lies ours. Dell Street. Fit your whole world in a 5 inch screen. Have you come smart class? One day all schools will teach this way. This is the Times Television Network.